Well, good morning. Welcome to the Mount this morning. My name is Derek Forrester. I'm one of the elders here. It is good to see you this morning. Uh, we want to get started with announcements as usual. Uh, if I can read Brian's writing, I will give you the announcements. Um, it looks like... I really don't know. Um, no, it looks like today at 7 o'clock we have our men's Christmas party. Um, so guys, we're planning to be here at 7 o'clock tonight here at the church for our men's Christmas party. Uh, ladies, I'm having trouble reading the writing, but I think it says tomorrow at what time? At 7 o'clock as well? Okay, for y'all's Christmas party, for the women's. And then um, the children's has been postponed. Um, and it's going to be rescheduled in January for the after Christmas party. Okay, so um, that's been rescheduled. And then the youth Christmas party, uh, I'm reading again, as the 16th at 6:30. Is, is Rob in here? He's not. Okay, I'm, I'm reading right here the 16th at 6:30 for the youth Christmas party. And if you're wondering why I'm reading Brian's. Uh, Writing, we'll call it writing. Um, uh, it's because he is at home with his family and um, with COVID symptoms. So be in prayer for that whole family if you haven't heard that already. Um, and uh, we'll share more about that uh, later. But um, And then, of course, as always, for those of you who might be visiting this morning, our restrooms are through this door out into the back building and then to your left, and you'll find the restrooms there. So, again, welcome. We're glad you're here this morning. Um, I think, Corey, are you next? All right, Corey, come on up. And Corey's going to do our Advent reading this morning and light our candle. Okay, so this morning uh, we're lighting the third candle, which is the joy candle. And so um, as we think about the coming of Jesus, we light the shepherd's candle, which is, as I said, also the joy candle. From Psalm 1611, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Isaiah 61, 1 through 3. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the captives and to comfort all who weep, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of a spirit of despair. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we, we thank you for Christ. We thank you for sending him and uh, the joy that we have because of that, because of our relationship with him and um, just the joy of um, being pardoned from sin. And we look forward to the joy that we will have in heaven being um, completely freed from sin's presence. Um, I know that during this time, this pandemic, um, there's, there's loneliness, there's sadness, there's lots of things um, that we are experiencing other than joy, but really when we think about the true definition of joy, Lord, it's, um, it's a happiness that exists um, despite our circumstances or outside of our circumstances. Um, and so we can have joy in you no matter what's going on around us and we're thankful for that and um i pray now that uh this this morning uh, and just the the coming weeks and months that we would be overflowing with joy uh, 
uh, more specifically, joy in Jesus. Yes, we would Lord. think through our, our relationship with you and the ramifications of that and uh, just bask in the joy that we can have um, and just knowing that that joy now and in the future will triumph over, over despair. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we, we thank you for that. We thank you for Jesus and all that he means to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.